Hello there. So, this is, uh, this is not what you are used to. This is not what I am used to. As you can see by the title, this is a Discord exclusive video. The first of many. Um, now you're probably a little confused because obviously this is not Discord exclusive. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm giving you a little taste. I'm giving you a sample. This will be the only Discord exclusive video that anyone can view. So it's not really a Discord exclusive video, but this is what they'll be like, essentially. And every video like this from now on will, in fact, be Discord exclusive. Of course, not counting this one, because it's essentially like, like I said, a teaser. So things have clearly happened since the last stream. This is new and will most certainly not be staying, as it is incredibly ugly. Um, <laughs> this is our Mending Villager that I got at the very end of the last stream. And I got him maxed out. His books are actually pretty good, Mending and Fire Aspect. He's got some decent trades and everything. They're not good enough. Eventually, we're going to kill both of these guys with the zombie and then turn them back into villagers to get the best possible trade. And this guy is a cartographer. And so we will be able to get both an ocean explorer map and a woodland explorer map basically whenever we want. So that'll be available for us to stream once it is uh, in the cards for us, so to speak. But today is not about those villagers. However, I will make their area a little less ugly. I will move them around. That is not what today is about. Today is about getting rid of this. This iron armor that has caused us to waste a significant amount of our iron. Um, I would say we've probably contributed a fairly good amount of iron blocks into that. Obviously, I have gone mining. This will, uh, in large part, remain for the stream. At least the diamonds will. Uh, because I always mine the diamonds on stream. Things like the redstone, the coal, and the lapis, though, that is fair game. So while I won't be mining the diamonds today, because I always keep those for the streams, I might be mining the coal, the redstone, and the lapis, because what we need to do is we need to max out this armor. Our helmet is the only thing maxed out. We did that once again at the very end of last stream. And honestly, I'm really not keen on thorns. I don't want it. Um... But if it needs to stay, it will, at least temporarily. But what I really want to focus on is the leggings and the boots, because essentially the leggings and the boots are the only thing holding us back from a full diamond set and a uh, diamond sword as well. I basically am just not using them because I don't want to lose fully maxed out gear that is somewhat difficult to get just because I'm wearing subpar armor. So you can see this armor is always breaking. It breaks at a very rapid pace, and I just don't want to, list, to risk losing uh, all this stuff that I would otherwise not lose simply because I'm going a little too fast. Now, I've actually done a little bit of grinding as far as uh, getting resources and emeralds goes, as you are able to see, and I have enough mending for all of this, even if I do end up Fixing up this chest plate to remove thorns and just have protection for him breaking three. We'll be able to throw mending on it and it won't be a problem. So, I suppose let's get right into the enchanting. First up, leggings. So, I'm really hoping for just protection for him breaking three. That is all we want. And then, once we're done with the boots, and all we have to do is add on mending. We will throw on mending and we will have our perfect pants. So as I do on stream, I'm right below it. I'm closing my eyes. Three, two, one. Let's see what we got. Protection three. You know what? Let's go and take a look at what books we have because that is a pretty important part of this. So we have on breaking three here but it does not appear that I have another unbreaking, or sorry, rather, uh, protection book. 
So I'm going to go ahead and temporarily put that in there and we'll give a spin with the boots now. All right, once again, as is tradition, eyes are closed, we're on it, three, two, one. All we really need is protection for I'm breaking three because I have feather falling and we have protection four. okay. Okay, this I can work with. This is better to work with. So we have feather falling four. We have unbreaking three, both with flame and with sweeping edge. We'll probably go ahead and use the sweeping edge one because it, uh, we already have a sword with sweeping edge, so that's not a concern. Now, what we don't have on there is depth strider. That, I have a feeling, will be something we'll have to put on in the future. It's not really a super important aspect of having boots, so I think we'll go ahead and bother with that at a later date. All right, rise and shine. Let's go for the pants again. So I have a lot of diamonds, and I have a feeling I will regret taking the enchantment off of that if I manage to get a protection three unbreaking three pair because then, you know, I'd just be able to combine it, right? So let's do this again and let's really hope that I get at minimum protection three unbreaking three and we can call the day. So eyes closed, three, two, one. It's really what we want. Okay, great, 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 great. So this is this is looking really good. So I can actually use the grindstone here to get that XP back. And we essentially don't really need these pants. Um, honestly, I'll just throw them in a random chest. It feels kind of funny to do that simply because of, you know, how much they're worth, at least to how we're, to how we're geared up right now. That feels like a waste, but really we're just waiting to have the best possible options. And so what really needs to happen now, I think, is going for a better chest plate. All right, so as you can see, we created uh, one of these stairways to heaven, as they have been called. And we're just going to mine down it. So we've got some coal, we've got some redstone, we've got some lapis. I've got my Fortune 3 mending pick here which I suppose is somewhat unfortunate to an extent that it does have mending on it, meaning that a lot of this XP will go towards repairing the pickaxe rather than towards our XP bar. But that is fine because we actually have a bunch of stuff in the furnaces. See, after the last stream that I did, I decided to go on a little mining expedition just for fun, and I ended up doing really well. As you saw, I had almost a stack of diamond ore which I generally don't do that well, like even close to that well. So we're doing we're doing pretty good for ores and everything, and that, that's why I like doing it with Silk Touch and getting the ores, because I can bring them back here and I can maximize the efficiency of the ores that I get. And I'm actually like one XP away. Oh, maybe not quite one. There we go, we've got 30 levels again. We are going to do this pickaxe, and wow, that was a lot of redstone and lapis. Okay, let's go ahead and turn these into blocks real quick, because that is pretty important. And we have enough lapis, that's also important. I wanna make sure we don't overdo that. So, just like all the other times, all we want is protection for I'm breaking three. Now, I believe I only have two Unbreaking 3 books, so if we do not get Unbreaking 3, that might be a problem. So I am closing my eyes, and we're definitely on it. So let's do three, two, one. Let's see what we got. Oh, not good. Not good. Thorns is what we want to get rid of. Now, if you don't know why, Thorns actually uh, depletes the durability of your armor faster. Every time thorns activates, it will deplenish, uh, or I should say deplete, some of the health of your armor. Similarly to how thorns will occasionally uh, create extra damage when an enemy hits you, it will also do the same to your armor health, 
which is why Thorns has never been a particularly good enchantment. It's just kind of nice. But when you're doing long expeditions, or if you're, say, going to a woodland mansion, or doing work on creating a guardian farm, the last thing you need is to have your armor getting destroyed much quicker simply because it has an enchantment that will do a minimal amount of additional damage to enemies. It's just not what you want. All right, we've got another stairway made entirely out of coal, so let's just do a quick speed mine here. Let's do it. Well, that took about a minute for me, and I thought we would at least get a fair amount into level 29, but that does not appear to be the case. So, here's the deal. We have this ore, and as I said, the diamond ore goes untouched because that is used for streams only. I always do that on stream because, you know, that's kind of what I'm looking to promote a little bit more, and you get that live interaction. For those of you who have not joined in, on any of the streams for this series. Basically what I do is I go mining in between streams and when I silk touch all the diamond ore, I leave it and then I ask the viewers who are live how many diamonds they think we're going to get total out of it using a fortune three pickaxe, of course. And it's just kind of a fun viewer interaction thing. In fact, this game is actually really great for viewer interaction. And uh, many of you might have seen these streams, I just figured I'd, I'd mention it here. But there's actually a way where people were able to set up custom plugins or tweaks to their vanilla game where people could donate money to have a specific thing triggered in the game and they were both positive and negative effects. So for example, someone could spawn in a creeper for five dollars or someone could give the streamer um, a jump boost or regeneration so you would have good and bad things all at the same time and it's at the sole discretion of the viewer uh, the streamer really had no control over any of it and it would happen completely randomly because the the console of the game was what was doing it it wasn't the actual player who had to see what was donated and then do it themselves so you know this game is great for interaction and that's one of the things that i really do love about streaming it however i decided th basically the reason why i wanted to make videos for this as well is because i found myself being really anxious to do a certain thing in game and then being like well you know i should really wait until i'm streaming it I should really wait until whatever. I need to wait a few days to make sure that people on stream aren't missing it. And I found that that was actually kind of driving me a little bit nuts. And so I decided, actually, I just had a totally random idea of doing these Discord exclusive videos. And I just wanted to give a taste of what that would be like uh, to encourage people to join the Discord uh, because it, it's a significantly better place for being notified of when I go live as YouTube is not particularly good on that front. So I suppose right now is as good a time as any to say, go ahead and join my Discord. It is linked in the description and I promise you it is not all about spam. I only tag everyone in the server when I have gone live or when a video is being released such as this one. So, for those Discord exclusive videos, the only way you get a link to them, because they'll be unlisted, is by going into the Discord server and every time there's a video notification, going and clicking on it. And another successful day. I'm gonna have to move these things because I keep spawning in them. Anyways, let's turn all of this coal into blocks. Another 60 blocks of coal. We're doing quite well with that, actually. Um, all right. So, we actually need to do that with some lapis. And let's really, really hope at least protection three, unbreaking three. What we need is protection and unbreaking without thorns. Thorns is really not what we want. Eyes are closed. Three, two, one. And let's look. 
All right, so it's not super ideal, but it is actually what we want, essentially. So, oh, I totally forgot we actually left that in there. For some reason, I thought this was the same chest plate, and I got very confused. So, what we'll actually end up doing with this chest plate is, like the other pants, we'll go ahead and grindstone it. And we'll just throw it in this chest there for now. So, we are in a pretty good spot. Thankfully, we got unbreaking on at least one thing. We still need two unbreakings, which I believe we have. I thought that was a creeper for a second, just out of the corner of my eye. It doesn't make sense because they can't spawn here, but it would it was freaking me out a little bit. So unfortunately, the uh what what are you called? Yes, the librarian. How could I forget? Unfortunately, our librarian does not carry unbreaking books, and I refuse to breed any villagers because I said on stream after we got this guy, we got our mending guy, that the next villager we would get would be one that we had converted from a zombie villager that we find out in the wild and that we make our own. And we don't steal from the snowy village about 1,200 blocks that way. Well, what I found is if we look at this guy's early trades, these were the first three trades. Actually, these were the first two, I should say. This one came later. So my only options were to do a 14 emerald trade for mending or to trade nine emeralds for a single bookshelf. You can see how I ran out of emeralds quickly. So essentially, I decided to get this guy for his trades. I wanted a paper trade, and I ended up getting this amazing glass trade, which I will show you right now. So actually, this is a good time to go over here and grab all of our glass. Unfortunately, I have, uh, I have used a significant amount of the glass that I already had saved up in order to make panes because I have gotten the majority of my emeralds from trading this guy glass panes. And honestly, I sort of regret it a little bit, but then again, I have a desert right there and I can always go back and get more. So he will restock today, but you can see that got us up a fair amount of XP. I don't know if we were at 28 at that point. I don't believe we were, and he's he's already restocked. We're at 29, and look at that. So we're at 29 and a half just off those trades. Unfortunately, this villager doesn't really have any trades that are great. Um... Not at all, really. This guy has the, the better trades as far as making emeralds go. The compasses are cool, but it does the, the iron does add up. It definitely adds up. So the real question now is where do we go from here? What do I do about this? So I have two items that only have protection for. Now, what I could do is I could create another pair of boots and do another level 30 and take the risk to see if I can at least get on breaking or even feather falling or depth strider preferably on a pair of protection for boots. Because what we're kind of having a problem of here is not having a lot of protection, or sorry, not having a lot of unbreaking three. We have two, and I really wanted one of them to be used on a bow since basically I want to make my bow entirely out of stuff that I fished so basing it on an actual bow that I pull out and then books that I have also pulled out of the water, as all of these have been, I believe. And then for armor, I don't really care. Uh, it's just, it's too much work to try and make it all from books that I fished without using the auto AFK fishing method, which I refuse to use. So I don't know. I We could either do a level 30 book or we could do a level 30 boot. And what is sounding right to me is a level 30 boot. And the reason why is because we are going for a very specific enchantment, Depth Strider. That is ultimately what I want. It is very unlikely that I would get Depth Strider from a book. But you know what we can do is we can craft a book using the paper that I have right here. And 
I don't know when it was added to the game, but at some point they gave you that little preview of what enchantment. If we see Depth Strider, which I would be shocked, no. So it would have been a good one, would have at least had efficiency, maybe even on Breaking Fortune or Silk Touch. It would be a good book trade, or a good book enchantment. But we're not going to do that today. That's not what we're going to do. Simply because I need to play it safe to get this armor where I need it to be. So, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to... Well, first I'm going to check on this villager to see if he has opened up his glass trade again. Because if he has, then that'll just be how we go ahead and get the rest, which he has. Very nice. This should get us, yep, level 30. And you can see we get a lot of emeralds from this trade. Unfortunately, it is not a sustainable trade as you need to mine a bunch of glass. But it is a pretty good trade. So, we have 30 levels now. Let's go ahead and throw that in. And I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping, even if we get nothing else, just Depth Strider 3. And honestly, what would even be great is if we got Depth Strider 3 and Unbreaking 3, because then I could combine that with the boots I already have, and then I could throw the Feather Falling book on and the Mending book on, and we'd be set. So, eyes are closed. Three, two, one. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay. Okay. It is not unbreaking, but that is fantastic. That was a good wager on my part. So we are still, unfortunately, going to need to use both of the unbreaking books. But I, wow, I feel great about that. I am very happy with that. And so it's kind of funny. We've actually almost ended up making an entire new set of armor just off of those trades. So here's what I'm going to do. Since we're at level 27 and we can't do any more level 30 enchant, what I want to do is I want to basically max out these the best I can. Unfortunately, I don't believe I have a protection three book. So that's gonna be rather difficult to do. So, actually, you know, I had a good idea. <laughs> I just had this good idea right now. At least I think it's a good idea. What I can do, since I have a load of diamonds, I can do another enchantment and really hope that I get protection three for a chest plate. Because with this, I should make it to level 30. Or at least quite close. Wow, we got exactly level 30. At least almost. <laughs> and that will even out that. And I am an idiot because there is a chest plate right there. And I just wasted eight diamonds. Three, two, one. Oh, not what we wanted. Not what we wanted. <laughs> okay. I'm going to figure out what course of action to take. And we will be right back. Alrighty, so what I have decided is I am just going to suck up the fact that that is currently Protection 3. Eventually that will be fixed. In the meantime, it's really not that big of a deal, especially with everything else having Protection 4. Basically what I'm going to do is max out this armor as best as I can right now, which I can basically do with the boots, the pants, and almost the chest plate. All right, it is time to cast off our iron armor. We'll do it one piece at a time, at a time, I should say, <laughs> for when we upgrade this armor. So our diamond helmet is complete, as it has been for a while. Next, of course, I, I you know what? I should do it right off the lily pads. That would be far more efficient. Next. We have our pants, which simply needs unbreaking three. Let us throw off the pants. Next, we have the boots. Okay, so this one needs unbreaking three and feather falling and mending. Oh, wait, I forgot. Mending on the pants. Yes, that. That would probably help, wouldn't it? Okay, mending on the pants. Pants are done. 
<laughs> and now let's see. So that's unbra that's three levels. That's four levels. That's two. Okay, so let's do two. Then four. Then seven. Two. Hold on, we gotta do this in F1. The chest plate goes on. And the boots go on. So look at that. Protection 4, Depth Strider 3, Mending, Unbreaking 3, Feather Falling 4. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Mending. Protection 3, Unbreaking 3, Mending. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Aqua Affinity, Mending, Respiration 3. And now that we finally have the armor on, I can comfortably throw out my iron sword and replace it with this diamond sword. I have been waiting so long for this. And I gotta say, I'm slightly bummed that I don't have Protection 4 on here. But honestly, I'll take it because now I can go places like the Nether. I can go caving and not be worried about getting one hit by a creeper that comes out of a ravine. And honestly, I just feel great about it. Because I have been really, really wanting to be able to go out in the world and not worry about dying super easily and now that i have mending essentially what i can do until i have a proper mob farm is i can come over to one of these guys and you know like this glass trade for right now it's great uh for this guy i can obviously do mending i can give him booking quills i can do all sorts of stuff and be getting plenty of xp in order to upgrade myself and we actually have one additional mending book left over um this is for something we'll eventually do in the future uh trident which is seemingly going to require a farm of its own because i have not encountered a single drowned with a trident a single one in this world we have fully decked out diamond armor almost and i have not encountered a single drowned with a trident they must have changed something after 1.13 maybe 1.14 because i swear you used to find them significantly more often but apparently that's not the case anymore all right so really all that i have left to do is to do something about these villagers because as you can see this was a very temporary setup and it also happens to butt up right against our house here, which is going to be a problem for the next stream because this has gone on for quite a while just sitting in this state. Also, I'd like to point out ender chest. We have an ender chest now. I did get around to making that and I will be going into the nether a little bit. I might throw some of that footage in uh, towards the end of this video. But essentially what I wanted to do was I figured since they're going to want to walk around, the best way to deal with them is to just stick them in some boats. That way I can essentially put them wherever I want with very little hassle, I guess would be the right word. So what needs to happen is unfortunately this sheep has gotten in there. Okay, great. So we've gotten both. Well, I didn't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a safe area for these guys. And I think the best way of doing that, honestly, might just be to either dig a hole or something of that nature. So looking at our island from above, you know what? I kind of realized this is almost like if South America and Texas just kind of merged into one i don't know why the shape just kind of reminds me of that never really noticed that before but i think right about here is going to be the best bet for our temporary hole i guess you could say for these villagers so what we're gonna do is go into survival mode and we're gonna dig some holes here pretty much i want to try and leave this area a little bit spaced out because it might make the house look weird when I'm flying up in the air in spectator in order to get a get a better view for when we're streaming. So what I'm going to give them is a two by two by three. 
And the reason why is because I want to be able to just go ahead and toss their workstation down without any issues. And if I only had it too high, then they could jump on it and jump on out, which I wouldn't have an issue with if we were in a secure area. But the thing is, is drowned can come up. There's also a small island right over here, which you might be able to see right there. Uh, where things can spawn and while I haven't had anything but drowned come up here that is enough of a reason for me to stay away from doing that as much as I would like to so I'm just looking having a two by two it's gonna be kind of a weird situation here because as I said I don't want to get too close to the house but at the same time I don't want I don't want to get into the water because that'll just look strange although what I suppose I could do is I could just cover it up with dirt since you know I'd obviously know where it is in fact I might just go ahead and do that so I think yeah I think that's what I'll do okay so I don't want them to take fall damage so I'll go ahead and do that for both of these this sheep is really just the bane of my existence. I mean, look at this. It's like it's just constantly going for the boats, but I think we should be fine in a second here. My only concern is that the sheep might want to wander into one of these holes. So what I think I'll do is I will separate this sheep and this villager, and then I will, I will stick down another boat. Okay. Good, good. Nope. Ah, that backfired on me. There we go. Okay, we got the villager in one. Now I need to get the sheep in one. Don't go to the villager. Don't do it. Don't do it. Eh. Oh, yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Sheep is good. I better do... <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Can I go through double doors with this thing? I've never... Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to dismount. Let's let's give this a try. Can I actually go through here? Ah, I can. All right. All right. I think, we're, I think we've got this worked out finally. Let's make sure we go slow. Don't do any damage. Yep. Now I've got to be extra careful. Nice. Okay. So he's going to go there. I'm going to do this, that, ha, ha. He tried to get out. Not going to work for you, bud. All right. Well, I finally made this area a little bit better. And honestly, it's it's kind of helping me get a better grip on how I think this house is going to go. Um, this is going to be a bit of a weird one. I'm not I'm not entirely sure how this is going to turn out, but it's it's looking pretty good so far. So guys, it's actually been over a day since the last time I recorded. I did go to the nether, as you can probably tell. Um, I spent quite a while there. In fact, I actually got something kind of special that I'll show you here. We'll be doing this on stream, and no, I do not have looting. So yes, it did take a very long time. Um, I had 33 levels of XP. I use both of them in an attempt to get protection 3 because this is driving me nuts. Even though when we have an elytra this will be used fairly minimally, uh, it's driving me a little nuts that I don't have protection 4 on here. So I have all this nether quartz and I figure we may as well go ahead and do a quick little time lapse here of me getting to level 30 repeatedly until we can finally get protection 3. All right, yet again, we have 30 levels. Let's try this again. And as usual, I will close my eyes. Three, two, one. And let's see what we got. Oh, so very close. We just repeatedly keep getting thorns for some reason. I, I don't know. I mean, it must be more common on things like 
chest plates. It must be, because of how frequently we're getting it, it's kind of ridiculous at this point. Well, uh, I guess let's go ahead and use this grindstone and see how much I can get back for that. Not a ton. Not a ton. Well, we still have more nether quartz. Alright, just a couple minutes later and we have another 30 levels. <laughs> A part of me wonders if we'll ever get just Protection 3 without Thorns. Even if it's Protection 3 on Breaking 3, at this point, I'll take it. Anyways, eyes are closed. 3, 2, 1. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Man, it just really, really likes giving us Thorns. I don't know why this is. Um, it's very strange. I, it seems like almost every time I enchant, I just manage to get thorns when all I really need is protection three. Anything else, I don't really care about. If I got a double unbreaking three at this point, honestly, I'd take it. But, got a whole lot more quartz, so may as well keep going at it. I'll be honest, I don't even know what attempt number this is, and I, I'm just gonna go straight into it. I'm not even gonna bother doing our fancy thing where I close my eyes for whatever reason. Just gonna... Oh my gosh, so close. So close. We just repeatedly get thorns. Why? Why does this keep happening? It, like, it's actually getting a little bit annoying. And I'm, I'm starting to almost fear that I might not be able to get enough XP out of all of this. I mean, I came back with 33 levels. And then I've, I have all of this nether quartz that I thought for sure would be plenty. But now I'm starting to think that it honestly might not be. Alright guys, let's try this again. This is seriously... I, I did not realize how difficult it would be to get what we need. Ah, Just repeatedly getting horrible enchantments. I don't know... I don't know what's going on. I suppose if I really needed to, I could trade with a villager. But... Until then, I'm just going to do this until all my nether quartz runs out. Attempt number 5000, or something. Let me get lapis. <laughs> how did I forget that? Well, I know how I forgot it. I didn't expect it to take this many tries. Alright, let's go again. Ah, same thing as last time. Back to mining the quartz, which is now at under a stack left in my inventory. I'd just like to point out that after the hours I spent in the nether, yes, we have these wither skulls, yes, we have nether quartz, yes, we have some glowstone and everything, but when it comes down to it, this one piece of armor that I wanted, I can't get. Also, I should mention, I found these in dungeon chests, uh, on, not on, but inside of the, uh, the nether fortress. There were, like, four chests all right around each other, and two or three of them had diamonds, and that's actually a pretty, pretty good amount of diamonds to find in the, the nether. Generally, you don't find that many. Let's try this again. I am going to bash my skull into a wall. Well, unfortunately, we have mined all of the nether quartz, and I have also removed anything that I had in these furnaces, and we are only at 28 levels of experience. So, we are going to trade with this guy for all of my glass, and if that XP can just... There we go. Nice. Okay. Still only at level 28. That's concerning. Um, <laughs> wow. So this is going to take a little bit more than I thought it would. Well, here's what I can do. I Yeah, I've got some more glass here. I'll, I'm willing to sacrifice a stack just for this. Other than that, I am not willing to put any more glass into this because I do actually need that glass. For my house, which I haven't done any work on in forever because I'm lazy. And now I just lost that dirt block. Alright, well we're at least pretty close. 
Unless, is he going to hit his workstation? No. Okay, so what we can do is we'll do a couple compasses. I think, I think that should be good. Just in case, we'll take a redstone block and do that. But what I want to do is compasses. All right, it was a good call grabbing that block. That's what I want, because this should do pretty well. Now, I don't want to go over. Okay, he is right here. Oh, that almost got it. All right, so first off, I need to block that off again. But before I do, I'm going to check that glass trade, which is still locked. Okay, so what we can do is, honestly, I can just give him... I could just give him emeralds for for an empty map. Um, or I could do that paper trade, which I believe I have paper. I should have paper. Um, so that would make a lot more sense, and then I could clear up some space. Unless, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, unless I've actually traded all my paper, which didn't seem right. So I'm glad I checked. Oh, well, that trade's back open. So... Well, you know what, we'll, we'll do one of those just to mix it up a bit. There we go, there's level 30. And I think this will be the last enchantment I do on camera because this is just ridiculous at this point. And honestly, for getting all this XP, I'd rather just be doing it while binging some sort of series or listening to music or something rather than recording because this is kind of dry. So, that works out well. We have just enough lapis. 3, 2, 1. And we got it. We actually got it. Okay, let's take a look in the anvil here. So, that's 15 levels for that. That is 11. Alright, honestly, I don't care. We now have a full set of perfect diamond armor, which we will eventually upgrade to netherite. Um, I believe it's perfect. I Can I put anything else on the boots? I don't believe I can. I think I could have put Frostwalker, which, I don't know. I might regret not having that instead of Depth Strider, but honestly, I, I, think, I think I'm happy with what I've got here. So, just to recap, got these Wither Skeleton Skulls. Ironically, I don't think I have any Soul Sand. Oh, no, I do. Okay, I have some Soul Sand, so I can do it. Uh, that'll definitely be done on stream because that's kind of a bigger thing, but this is great. So this is kind of what these episodes will be like is we're just kind of doing some of the tasks that may be considered interesting, but just kind of take up time on stream where I'd rather be doing something a little more interactive or notable, you know, like fighting the wither or the ender dragon, both things that I have to do, um, Next stream, though, we'll be working on this house because I do want the house to be at least somewhat done, at least in terms of a general structure goes, before I fight the Ender Dragon because, as I've mentioned on stream, that is one of my bigger problems, is actually going and fighting the Ender Dragon and just doing general things in the game that you normally would do well after establishing a house. I don't do that because of my time playing factions, I just spam stuff down like we see here and it just becomes a big mess. So I don't want that. I want to set up an actual house. I want to set up an actual trading hall. I want to make this island nice, terraform it, design it to how I enjoy it. And that's, that's how I want to do things. And also these will be made into weakness potions and uh, we will we will get a zombie villager. That'll hopefully be on the next stream as well. Um, but yeah, guys, join the Discord. Because from now on, these episodes will be Discord exclusive. Once again, meaning that the episode will be posted as unlisted. And then I will send a link in a special tab in my Discord server called Video Notifications. And that is the only way you'll get the link. That or maybe special things during a stream, potentially. I could I could put a link in there. I don't know. Kind of depends on the video. Depends on what we're doing. But I think this is a pretty good teaser for what to expect. 
So if you're interested in this kind of thing, I would highly recommend joining the Discord. It will be the first link in the description. And I promise you, it's not full of spam like many other Discord servers are. The only times I tag everyone is when I'm going live and when I upload videos because that's primarily what the server is there for. So anyways, guys, I know this has been kind of a long-winded outro, but I feel as though that information is necessary to pass off. Many of you have probably already clicked off, but for those of you who are still there, thank you so much for staying. Leave a like, join the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.